back out. But it's cooking in Carl's kitchen tonight. So what are we having tonight? Right. I've kind of prepped a lot of this before I come out, right? Uh, got homemade marinated Cajun chicken. I've got new potatoes, homegrown, pulled out of the dirt yesterday. I've got homemade coleslaw. Again, just made that of stuff, put it out of the garden. We've got onion already chopped up. I've got the tea grill. Probably everybody's got one of these now, haven't they? And I'm going to use the, the Yola grill again. So it's quite handy, this. Just to basically fling up. It takes, I think I've mentioned before, it takes 10 seconds. I think it's ready to go. So we've got all that ready. Oh, I was just going to stick on that plate, but I've got some wraps left, so I'll just chuck them all in that. With a wee trusty board. So, first things first, let's get the fire on, folks. Fire's on. Stove's on, whatever you want to call it. So, we stick the TF grill on the top and we'll chuck in. What we chuck in first? Onions in first. In fact, I'm going to chuck on. No, I'll chuck the chicken and the potatoes in first. Look at that. You maybe can't see that if you hear that. Been marinating all night. Hot and spicy. So I'm going to chuck that in first eh, and we'll see what this one's like. How's that? Get some apple juice. Getting day drinking. Folk may think I'm going to a health kit with a salad and chicken and stuff. So that's a marinated chicken, potatoes, chocolate and aioli. Oh yeah, very good. That's similar away. Just chuck some onion on as well, will we? Why not? I don't know if you can hear that, that's sizzling away nicely. Oh yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That should taste pretty good. I'm going to that already, I don't think. Maybe, I don't know, 10-15 minutes. Right, what I think about it. I might not have it in wraps, I might just whack it on a plate. I've got a plate with me, so maybe just stick it in a plate, eat it that way. The wraps last night, so I've got to mix it up a wee bit, don't you? But look, they cook the same thing, having the same thing all the time. So comment below, what do you like cooking when you're out? What's your favourite kind of campfire meal? I've got that many. <laughs> I do quite like wraps though. Wraps and wraps are quite easy to do. You shout out to Kent Survival. Uh, so I'm cooking a nice uh, pulled pork wraps the other night. Look very nice. And that's actually something. Well, it's not pulled pork. Uh, it's that thing you see the Americans eating. Brisket. I'm gonna try and do that one night. I think it's, a, it's kind of ready made, but it, brisket. But maybe try and do that in the Dutch oven. But tonight, it's Cajun chicken. Yeah, y'all, it's Cajun chicken. Oh, it's sizzling really nicely. So, what we'll do, it's just a bit ready. It's, well, in a minute now. Time to get in the plate, I think. Give it the taste test. Yep, that's good that. to go. Cool. Oh, that's looking good. That's looking good. That's 
vorher wussten. Not too shabby. Oh yeah. Right, the homemade post on the side. Oh yeah. I can get it all out. That's looking good to me. Nobody is. So Cajun chicken, homemade coleslaw, homegrown tatties, homegrown onion, all cooked up in the pan. Time to dig in. Dinner time. Do the mini mini more. I'll try a bit of chicken first. That rose potato. Yes, our tatties. Then we try them. Best tatties in the world. I'm not about that chicken. <laughs> That homemade slaw, post slaw, I think so. Mm. Mm. Something about homemade, homemade food. Home grown food. Most th things like uh, especially tomatoes, cakes, things like that. Just, it just tastes so much better when you grow them yourself. You can't really buy them at the supermarket, there's no taste to them. Whereas, I want this to work over. So, comment below do, do you grow your own food? Do anybody grow their own food? In fact, a wee shout out for Will. Will out, in, Will out in Rhodes he kindly met with me when I was on a holiday. I know he. Uh, he obviously stays in the woods out in Canary Greece. He sent me some photos. Oh, he's got everything. He's got orange trees, lemon trees, all sorts of nice fruit trees kind of growing out his back door. I don't think he would quite get aware for that. Maybe apples and things like that. I don't know about oranges and lemons and stuff like that. Oranges and lemons. I remember the rest of that song. Oh, you've got to love a good scan, don't you? I think one day I'm going to wake up and I'm going to go to 50 stone. But I've been saying that for years and it's not happened yet. Anyway, while I'm eating this, I'm going to this off and bring it back in a minute. Mmm, very nice indeed. But you know what time it is? It's brew time. A brew. As well as a brew, 
a wee cheeky caramel log. So a wee shout out to James again. James, <laughs> you fed me in biscuits for about the last week. <laughs> Top man. So, the last caramel log, James. Cheers, my man. Mm. Good old tunnocks. the way the day getting that second uh, jab the COVID jabs so at the moment I feel alright but I know when I get the first one if you wait on that night in the next two days I felt like, I felt like crap so we'll see See what I feel like tomorrow. As far as tomorrow, what the day? I think I might try and get the, the kayak out again tomorrow night. Kayak out. Probably go down the beach again. If not, down the river. Who's assigned? But I know tomorrow's supposed to be a bit. 27 degrees or something for Scotland that's El Toastio so if it's El Toastio it's taps off in the water I was laughing there I was out the other week I was doing a somersault in the water and then I posted another video out the kayak and the sea and somebody actually commented, no somersaults tonight. So, there was none. But, I'll get the kayak back out tomorrow night. I'm going to go for a, a swim and all. That's quite popular as well now, isn't it? This wild swimming. That and paddle boards. The amount of folk I see out in paddle boards now. Everywhere. Well, I'm doing a bit here. I think that mouth of that river. Probably time I get down there, but I'd say at least ten folk in paddle boards. At least two or three kayaks. Folk in the water swimming. It needs to go abroad, eh? Well, the weather's last year when they go abroad. Come the winter, that's when folk like a bit of sun, isn't it? But, sun. I like sun. I don't know about anybody else. But I do like winter camping. You've probably heard me say a million times before, but snow camping. To me, that's just the that's the best kind of camping you can get. So hopefully there won't be any more lockdowns. I was devastated at the start of the year. Probably the best snowfall we've had in years. Managed to get a wee bit down the Galway Forest, but up north it was just there was snow everywhere. And there was lots of it. But hopefully, come January time, we'll get some snow. Always keep a week's holiday for January. Hopefully we'll get some snow. Get up north. We'll go a, I'll probably go a three-day trip or something. Three-day trip snow camping. Oh, please. I just hope that snow. Anyway, what we're talking about snow for. In the middle of summer, sun spot in the sky. Oh, it's good to be out. Anyway, I'm just yapping on here. So, we'll call it a day. Uh, 
don't know where I'll go next. Um, I'm trying to think what day this is. Got the kayak maybe tomorrow night. Uh, this is Wednesday, tomorrow, Thursday, kayak, Friday. I'll probably get a, a camp somewhere. Probably a late night solo camp again. And then Saturday, who knows? We're all going Saturday. Well, I'll end up somewhere, won't I? Anyway, I'm just yapping on tonight. Thanks for watching, folks. Again, just a wee cooking video again tonight. But I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button if you don't mind. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for future notifications. Catch you in the next one. Adios.